Today we're going to multiply polynomials, so let's get started. All right. Let's just start off with just a basic with just a basic problem, okay? Let's multiply um, two times x squared plus 4x minus 6, okay? I'm going to show you two different methods to do this, okay? I'm going to show you the way that, that your teacher normally shows you, and then I'm going to show you another method, okay? All right, so, um, so I have 2 times x squared plus 4x minus 6. I'm going to multiply the 2 times the x squared, which is 2x squared, and then I'm going to multiply the 2 times the 4x, which is 8x, then I'm going to multiply the 2 times the negative 6, which is negative 12. I multiply the 2 times this term, the 2 times this term, and the 2 times this term. Okay? Now, another method that you can do this, um, this is called the box method, okay? And some people like this method over this method because when you end up with, with a trinomial times a trinomial or a binomial times a trinomial, it can get a bit confusing with all these lines going on, okay? So, since I have a one term here, I'm going to make a box that's going to be a one by three box. I'm going to write my two here. Above this box, I'm going to write my x squared. Above this box, I'm going to write four x. Above this box, I'm going to write negative six and I'm going to multiply. So 2 times x, x squared is 2x squared, 2 times 4x, which is 8x, and 2 times negative 6, which is negative 12. And again, I end up with 2x squared plus 8x minus 12. Okay. Uh, this is such a simple problem. Let me let you try one. Let's try um, 5 times negative x squared minus x minus 2, or plus 2, okay? If you'll please put the video on pause and multiply those two, please. Thank you. All right. I'm going to use, gonna, I'm going to show you both methods, okay? So we have 5 times negative x squared minus x plus 2. I'm going to multiply 5 times this term. 5 times this term is negative 5x squared. 5 times this term, which is a negative 5x. And 5 times this term, which is plus 10. If you did the other method, which is the box method, you're going to create a 1 by 3 box. You're going to write negative x squared here, negative x, and 2. 5 times negative x squared is negative 5x squared. 5 times negative x is negative 5x, and 5 times 2 is 10. So I have negative 5x squared minus 5x plus 10. Same answer, two different methods. Okay. Let's try this, let's try this one. Let's say I had 2x times 4x squared minus 6x minus 10. Let's make that plus. Okay. So I have 2x squared plus 4x squared plus 6x minus 10. 
So I have three different terms here. I'm going to multiply this term times this, times this, and then times this. So 2x, and let me make my parentheses a little bit more defined here. Okay? So, and, and, and before you, um, if you don't understand what I'm going to do um, here, please watch the video on multiplying exponents. I did, a, did an entire um, module on multiplying exponents. So please watch that be those videos and that will help you explain um, what I'm doing here. So 2x times 4x squared is going to give you 8x to the third. 2x times 6x is 12x squared. And 2x times negative 10 is a negative 20x. All right. Let's use the box method now. I, I really do like this box method because it separates everything. It makes makes everything just neater and cleaner instead of all these lines. And we're multiplying. 2x times 4x squared is 8x to the third. 2x times 6x is 12x squared. And 2x times negative 10 is negative 10x. So you end up with 8x cubed plus 12x squared minus 10x. Same thing. Same answer. All right. Let me let you try one. And I'm going to make it just a little bit harder for you, okay? Let's try 3x to the third times... 6x squared minus x plus 12 plus 12. Okay? If you please multiply that for me, please. Put the video on pause. Thank you. Okay, let's do the uh, first method first. We have 3x cubed times 6x squared minus x plus 12. And I'm going to make my parentheses a little bit more defined here. So I'm going to multiply 3x cubed times 6x squared, which will give me 18x to the fifth. I'm going to multiply 3x cubed times negative x, which is a negative 3x to the fourth. And I'm going to multiply 3x cubed times 12, which is a plus uh, 36x to the third. All right, I'm going to do my box method now. And I think in future videos, I'm just going to use this method because it's, it's nice and clean. I just, I just love this method. And we're multiplying. 3x cubed times 6x cubed. 3 times 6 is 18. x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth. Then I'm going to multiply 3x cubed times negative x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 x cubed times x is x to the fourth. Then I'm going to multiply these two terms. 3 times 12 is 36 x cubed. So I'm left with 18 x to the fifth minus 3 x to the fourth plus 36, I'm sorry, 36 x to the cube. Same answer. different process. All right, this is the end of part one um, of my polynomials, multiplying poly polynomials video. Please um, go to mathwithmoon.org for part two of multiplying polynomials. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time.